Hello and welcome to our website. My name is Scott Marvin and with me is Terry Carter and we are short sale experts in the state of Ohio. Terry, maybe you could just kind of explain briefly what a short sale is. Well, a short sale is when the seller of a property is experiencing some sort of hardship and they are asking the bank to allow them to sell the property for less than what is owed on the mortgage. You know, a lot of you right now might be in a situation where you're behind on your payments or you're about to come behind on your payments and you're worried what's going to happen. And uh, what we want to cover today, we want to give you just a brief background on what we do and then we want to cover the three top questions we get from our clients when we're meeting with them discussing their options to avoid foreclosure. Uh, Terry, can you just kind of elaborate a little bit on our background and what we've done over the last couple of years with short sales? Well, Scott and I both have been real estate agents for over 10 years each. We joined our business together in January strictly because of the uh, short sales. Uh, we saw that there was a need for it in the industry and um, so we started working those short sales. It works for both of us because, you know, he's able to negotiate with the banks. He's there in the office to do that and I'm out working with the clients and also um, taking care of the properties and stuff for the seller. So. And uh, a little bit maybe on our track record, you know, the industry average for closing short sales is very low. Uh, nationally, it's about 25%, and uh, here in Ohio, it's about 17%. Um, what has been our track record with closing our short sales? Well, we're closing at about 95% of our short sales, and I think the main reason is because of what I just described. I think it's, you know, that you're able to be in the office um, and work those with the bank, negotiate with the banks while I'm out uh, doing all the things that need to be done on the legwork in the business. Yeah, the way we've structured our business makes a huge difference, but uh, even more importantly than that is we are certified short sale experts. Um, most agents out there today, they think they know how to do a short sale and it drags on for six months, a year, and the property eventually never does close. Uh, we're actually getting approvals on our short sales in about 45 days, on, on, like I said, on average. There's definitely a method to the madness in all of it. If you don't, if you're, if you don't know how the system works, you're not going to be successful in uh, accomplishing your short sale. Okay, so when we meet with our clients to begin discussing a short sale or pre foreclosure, there's always three questions that come up nearly every single time. They're very good questions and they're very important questions. And Terry, what's usually one of those questions that come up? Well, I think the most popular question that we get is, what's going to happen to me financially? Exactly. You know, here I am a seller, I'm in a pre-foreclosure situation, uh, I'm concerned. Is my bank, is my mortgage company going to try to take money out of my checking account? Are they going to go after my retirement account? Um, if I have a second home, are they going to, going to try and take my second home? Will I have to pay taxes? You know, I'm concerned what's going to happen to the money that I have, and most oftentimes it's very little money that I have. Right. Well, they can't come after those assets. That's not part of the short sale. It's completely separate from the short sale. So those are, you know, those are not a factor. And what you mean by separate from the short sale is that money is not going to be involved in the short sale. Correct. The short sale is for the property that's at hand. Exactly. So those assets are protected. Your bank can't make you give them money out of your other accounts or they can't take your other home. You know, that's not possible. If they were to write anything like that in their short sale offer, which I've, I have not seen, um, we would just negotiate that out of there. We don't have to accept their offer. Everything's negotiable with your bank. Well, Terry, what about taxes? You know, when the bank charges off that loan and there's a shortage, they're going to send out a 1099 to the IRS. And that's going to come to me as someone who does a short sale. Am I going to have to claim that as income and pay taxes on it? No, you're not. Um, prior to 2009, you used to have to pay taxes on that. But as of now, um, with the Mortgage Debt Forgiveness Act, you do not pay taxes on that. So how long is that good for? I mean, is that forever? Well, that program is set to expire right now at the end of 2012. Um, who knows where they're going to go with that? You know, I mean, that still remains to be seen. Is that program going to go away at the end of 2012? We don't know. Um, it could be extended. So does that mean that after 2012, if I do a short sale with, before the end of the year, 
And then in 2013, am I going to have to pay taxes on my short sale that I did in 2012? No, they can't go back and, and you know, what you did prior, too. So, so that's forgiven forever. It's forgiven. Awesome. I think probably the second question that we normally get is, how will this affect my credit? How will this affect my credit? Um, when you do a short sale, you are going to take a little ding on your credit. But if you end up in a bankruptcy, a deed in lieu, or foreclosure, your credit is going to be devastated. Uh, just as a quick example, if you short sell your house and you want to buy another house, you're able to do that in two to three years. We have some clients that are buying other houses while they're doing their short sale. They're actually downsizing into a less expensive home. So your credit does not have that much of a hit that you're going to, going to face if you do a foreclosure. If you do end up in a foreclosure, deed in lieu, or bankruptcy, your credit will be destroyed from seven to 10 years. With a short sale, you can quickly recover in as little as two years. And I guess finally, the third question that, uh, that we get a lot is, will the bank come after the unpaid balance? Huge well, question. I, we get this all the time. Is the bank going to come after the amount of money after the short sale that was not paid off? And uh, the, the quick answer is no. Here's what you need to know, however. If you end up in a deed in lieu or foreclosure, the bank will almost automatically come after the unpaid balance. In a short sale, 95% of the time, they do not try to pursue the deficiency balance. And when they do, in that small 5% of the time, that's when we begin to negotiate with the bank and we get that removed. Again, remember, you do not have to accept the terms that the bank gives you on your short sale. Everything there is negotiable. So uh, yes, they are not going to come after the deficient balance. Now, let's suppose that uh, you have twenty dollars or $30,000 in your bank account. They may ask that you contribute a little bit of funds towards the closing. We've had this come up on a few rare occasions where they've asked the seller who has a lot of money to contribute one or two thousand dollars towards the sale um, and they have tried to come after higher amounts again we negotiate that down as low as we possibly can so there's very little risk if any of them coming after the deficiency balance or asking you to contribute funds to the closing most of the time you're paying no money they're not coming after the balance and you're walking away from the walking away from the property well, that pretty much concludes our video on uh, short sales. Um, of course, hopefully we've answered some of your questions, but every situation is different. And, yeah. uh, you know, we'd love to have the opportunity to sit down with you and discuss exactly what's going on with you and, and how to take care of uh, getting your property sold. Yeah, definitely. We, we understand you're worried that this is a kind of a crisis in your life, and we're very sensitive to that. But uh, we can show you what to expect. We can lay everything out for you, discuss your situation, you know, go over the three questions in more detail that we've covered on this video. You know, that's what we do. That's what we're uh, experts in. So uh, give us a call. Uh, we'd be happy to help you out with your situation. Perfect. Thanks, everyone, for watching the video. Have a great day. Thank Bye you. Bye now. Bye.